Hello and welcome back to you in the new lesson. This is Yalachim Kantiwari. In this lesson, we will generate a sine wave using AVR Admega 32 microcontroller. So this is a sine wave. You can see this green line is a continuous sine wave and the red line is a sampled version of the continuous line. So we will sample a continuous sine wave at a particular sampling rate and then store in the flash memory okay and then we will read that flash memory and will display at the port to which DSC is connected so the first of all a generator sine wave of a single cycle okay in the MATLAB start a MATLAB and let's take a, a hundred sample so zero sorry let's take a 50 sample 0 to 50 okay and then sine is equal to the sine 2 into pi into n upon 50 fine so here sine wave has been generated okay you can see this is the if we plot it you can see the sine plot okay so this is the sine plot of a one 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 cycle and uh, you can see here the sine plot of one cycle and the minimum value is the minus one and the maximum is the plus one but unfortunately the DACH do not support the minus values okay so that we have to shift this this uh, uh, this graph to uh, by one unit to the upper side okay so the add sine add one in the sign okay so the plus one now do we have added one now let's take the plot let's see the plot one more time okay so now here you can see the plot has been changed from the 0 to 2 okay now it's fine one more thing what we need you can see here the sign this sign is in the floating point so the first of all we need to convert in the fixed point okay so the maximum value a port can hold the 255 okay so the, we need to multiply the 255 but there is a problem when we multiply with the 255 and this result will go beyond the 255 so the our 8-bit register can't hold more than 255 value so we need to multiply with the 127 okay so the first multiply with the 127 and if you multiply with the 127 then it will go uh, how much the 127 into 2 that will be the 254 so the maximum value can be hold in the register okay so the first multiply sign equal to sign multiplied by the 127 fine the 127 that's it okay now the there is a still a floating point here so the what we need this time just round it okay so the sign is equal to round this side values okay fine that's it the fantastic now the sine wave has been generated in the in the MATLAB so the let's say plot one more time and see okay so this is sign generated okay the value from the 0 0 to 250 to it's around the 254 okay it's not visible here but it's a 254 okay okay that's fine now let's start assembly code so here I have already generated this project now this is the include file as you know the origin 0 and this is the stack pointer initializations and uh, this is the port B initialization as the output port okay and uh, let's uh, start the sign okay so this is the address of the sine wave if you have seen the previous tutorial table processing then you can understand this code very easily so generate a sign okay with the dot db directive dot db fine so with the dot db directive generate sign and uh, let's uh, take this value this sign double click on it now double clock in it double click on it now you can see this is our sign wave okay so copy this data 
total will be the 51 okay then copy it and then paste it here okay so now the next thing what we need here just write the code final code okay so here this ZL and the ZL is used as a pointer register in the Z high I am storing the higher byte address of this sine wave and in the ZL lower byte address of the sine wave okay now the read the data from the ZS so the load program memory okay with the LPM load from the program memory and uh, that is the let's say the R20 from the Z registers with the auto increment the Z plus and then give it to the port B okay the port B which which registers that is the R20 and then call a delay then call a delay okay so this delay is may produce an error now it's fine okay the call delay now the compare with the immediate value R20 whether we have reached at the end or not so the R20 with the 0 now there is a problem if we compare with the 0 then there is a intermediate value 0 and our loop will be terminated here and here the last value is 127 but still there is a problem the 127 value can be in the middle yeah this is the first one is the 127 and this is the also the 127 value okay so this can produce a problem but here you can see the which is 128 yes the 128 value is not present in this loop okay so 128 value is not present in the this loop so the we can add you can uh, we can make 128 in the last okay 128 now the loop will be terminated at this place okay sorry at the 128 that's a fantastic loop will be terminated here fine so the 128 compare with the 128 that's mean the if we have reached at the end of this sign table okay and if we reached at the end of table then again we start from the reading at from the first position okay so let's give it to the loop 1 delimiter loop 1 label okay so if it is equal then b r e q to the loop 1 and if it is not equal if it's that's mean if we didn't reach uh, up uh, at the end of this table then come to at this place okay so let's say this is the loop 2 okay so the always RJMP relative jump to loop 2 okay so the fantastic now the program has been completed let's uh, compile it okay yes there is a duplicate error here sorry this loop 1 and the loop 1 is also here so the let's change it to the loop 3 um brne to 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 loop 3 okay and uh, here it is showing one more error and uh, yes we didn't add a delimiter here okay so let's add a delimiter it will take a little bit time okay now the uh, compile build it okay that's fine so zero build zero is skipped okay the, our code has been completed and now let's simulate it in the proteus okay so start a proteus first and if you remember in the previous tutorials we have already simulated a project okay the DSC project okay so I am opening only that DSC project 
okay documents and there is a proteus oops yes this is the ram okay and this project we have already simulated in the previous tutorial at the port b so this project will run at the, uh, to the this program also okay so in the one drive in the documents in the admin studio 6 and it was the sine wave and debug and this was the hex that's the fantastic and run it okay yes it's running okay so now here you can see the sine wave is coming but there is a problem you can see here the problem is this one okay so there are uh, uh, there are one two the, um, that is possibly the two or three values are the same that's why this uh, uh, longer horizontal lines are coming let's check and this can be at the place of this is the zero equivalent and this is the 255 it is around the 127 or 128 okay let's say any value is repeating around the 127 or 28 yes this is the 127 128 and then again 127 these both values are repeating uh, we can delete this 127 or a last or this 127 let's delete this 127 last value and then again build it one more time okay there is a segment error so the, what we can see uh, we can delete one zero uh, from here okay it's not an error it's just a warning the uh, misalignment memory misalignment warning now that's a fine okay so simulate this uh, proteus one more time stop it and simulate it let's wait for five seconds okay that's a fantastic now it is coming now the, we have a simulated this sine wave and in the uh, after a few tutorials we will do also the programmable sine wave using the ADC so the far time being thank you so much for watching and if you have any doubt please comment below